Hey guys, I'm Powered Up Mike, and well, this is something new. I'm not used to seeing this, honestly. It's time for a new Let's Play, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. But to start things off, we're just going to go with the basic New Super Mario Bros. U, and then later on, we'll worry about Luigi U. Ooh, that's pretty to look at on a flat screen. Yes, I completed it all, both ways. So let's start a new story, one player. Yes, I'd, oh, it's always fun doing that. But I never really thought I'd be able to like, let's play this game. Because a few years ago, of course, I never had a Wii U. And the thing is, I didn't have a Switch for the longest while. I didn't get mine till 2019. This game didn't come out until 2019 too, of course. Even though I think it was supposed to come out earlier. If only there was a way to skip this cutscene. Cause so I just know for a fact that back in the day, Nintendo would get really upset if people included their cutscene in the video, even if you commentated over it and the quality still wasn't the sharpest. They'd still get mad and act like you were illegally distributing the next big Hollywood blockbuster. And there's our new power-up for the game. The Super Acorns. And Toadette replaces Blue Toad. Which, I mean, let's be honest, Toadette was a much better choice. Did we really need two different Toads that didn't change anything, really? But, but still, Mario and Waluigi, they deserve their own platformer with the Mario Bros. Wario kinda got it. I mean, Wario has Wario Land, but we all know what happened there. Waluigi? Poor guy. So, let me zap out the castle and boom booms at the fortress. Acorn Plains Way. The iconic first level. You know, I wonder what it was like for all those... For all those, you know, Wii U kids, you know whose first console was a Wii U, and this was their first game. It was Christmas morning, 2012. I wonder how exciting it must have been to be playing this back when, you know, the game was brand new. Although, in 2012, I was not playing any Wii U stuff. I was on my Wii playing DDR Hottest Party 3. Hmm, so we get some nice little coins. Wait a minute. I think we're gonna have to go back, check the work items. Yes, let's check. Ah, I can't believe I missed that pipe. Because that's the next star coin. Now, the thing is, remember when I let's play New Super Mario Bros. DS back in the day? 2015? The thing is, I would like to, you know, truly finish that game, but... I'd prefer to do it with a more, well, optimal recording way. You know, at least have like some sort of capture for my, my DS. But I mean, let's be real. Things would have been a lot better for Nintendo if the Wii U had like a full DS player. The same way, you know, the GameCube had the Game Boy player. I mean, it would have been the perfect opportunity, you know. And maybe play your 3DS games only in 2D. Like, it, it's what could have been. DS games on the Virtual Console aren't that bad, I guess, but... Oh yes, another coin, Heaven? And this is where our third and final star coin is. I did play this game on the my TV before. But let me tell you, it's just so strange seeing, like, a fresh, high-def Mario game on this TV. It's like the HD. Keep in mind, I'm used to Mario Bros. Wii. Eleven years later, I still enjoy playing that game on occasion, even though I already beat it. Let's grab a quick one-up. And, ta-da! There it is! First level done. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut down, you know, cutscenes and things, but let's go on to the next one. Tilted Tunnel. Here's the thing with New Super Mario Bros. U. Nintendo really did... 
They really did want to make this the next Super Mario World. They really did want to make the Wii U the next Super Nintendo. It's just so blatantly obvious. But I don't... But it never was. But I mean... We could get a nice little fire flower here, but... Ah! Don't miss. Well, maybe I will have to get a fire flower. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Yeah, I love power-ups. We know, Mike. Good. Back in the final Nintendo Power comic, Nestor and his son were playing this game. Okay, good. I didn't miss a star coin. I did it before, but I gotta be honest, I can't remember where everything is. But when I... But yeah, my first semester of college, this game... This was one of my escape games, along with Smash Ultimate. Oh, I missed again! Aha! I knew it! If only I didn't get hit. Any more power-ups? It's painful being without power-ups. Ooh, yes, I... I think I need a glide. I need a glide for this next star coin. Whee! We're not! That was friendly. Thank you, game. But this is one of those pivotal points in the Mario series where it's like, New Super Mario Bros. This is where many fans agreed that it's like it was becoming too much. It's like, new annual releases! Okay, not quite, but, well, more than, you know. And one of the biggest controversies Controversies of the time. Was how it's like, this was around the same time Miyamoto revealed, Oh, we don't know what to do with F-Zero. People were like, they can make annual New Super Mario Bros. releases. But they can't make F-Zero? Yeah, they can't. Now this level, like Banner, it does have a secret exit. We'll cover that next. Oops, I tried. Oh yeah, Mario time. Mario! And Peach's castle has been raided again. Keyword again. Well, let's get that secret exit taken care of. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so you have to jump up there because there's an even hit more secretive passageway. I missed it the first time around. But now it's a mad dash for the goal, and there should be a three up moon somewhere. Unless I remembered it wrong. I missed it. There was a three up moon in one of the coin areas. But you get the idea. And that's our first secret exit. This way. Okay, it looks like we got a secret level. Acorn Plains Blooper. Blooper's secret lair. Yeah, it's underwater level. But I gotta ask, did Nintendo really have to use a lot of new Super Mario Bros. Wii music? I'm gonna have to get used to hearing this, cause... yeah. Now, in true Mario-like manner and tradition, there always is that one iconic power-up that gets you through all the levels in a breeze. However, this... this is one of those example... holes where the Fire Flower does pay off. 
So with enough button mashing, you can grab your first star coin there. You just gotta wait it out. Let the bubbles work for you, not against you. The current is too strong. Although, I don't... Okay, let's see if I can... Well, let's not worry about that little guy. I think we can... Oh, good! You can slip on down. Just don't fall too far. The currents work with you, not against you. Let's grab myself a 1-up. Make sure we're good. We didn't get hit. Yeah, we go up on the green pipe. I'm like, wait. Now the thing is, look, I'm not a perfect gamer. I can't remember everything off the top of my head. So I have like a little level map pulled up courtesy of the website uh, vgmaps.com, so huge shout out to them. Huh. What? Look, I'm not a speedrunner who's trying to 100% the game. I'm just, you know, playing through, trying to make a helpful video guide with my own little spin on it. Now we have to go through one of these pipes. Come on, let me through. There we go! Yeah, that center green pipe is our key to success. And there. Hey, a blooper nanny with her babies and, uh... Yeah, just swim away. Just, and I'll just swim away and not cause any hubbub. So let's just get to the end of this level. And fast, too! Alright, this is the beach music! One up again! Yeah, that's enough for today's episode. But until next time, whenever and wherever that may be, I'll see you then. But wait, there's more. There, it's Soda Jungle! So we get an instant access path to Soda Jungle, if so we choose, but yes, I'll save in for real this time. I'll see you then. Bye!